A hey, Shin Lad here, and over the last couple of weeks, I've been slowly building up my repertoire of EdTech by testing it in matches, and I figured I'd share this tech for views and very little profit. If you plan on making Ed in Street Fighter 6, I may suggest adding a triple kicks button to your button layout. This will help you cancel out of your charge flickers much faster and easier than double tapping forward or backwards. And this works because you're holding down a kick button and then pressing a direction plus another kick will activate the command dash. It also has the benefit of always coming out. If you use a dash macro, you may fumble your buttons while holding down the medium kick and pressing the drive parry macro thinking it will dash, but instead just stand still. If you have no issues doing the dashes manually or rotating your kicks, then don't worry about this, but I personally found it much easier to simply hit the triple kicks macro. Here's some side switch combos from Punish Counter Drive Impact that didn't make it into my guide. The trick here is after a drive impact, do a dash and then do the target combo, followed by two command dashes. And here's one off of OD Flicker. If you are close to the corner, you can do this by walking forward, then inputting the motion. Or if you're a bit more spaced out, you can do a drive rush version. Personally, I find it much more stable to do a dash than command dash, sacrificing damage for consistency. After a medium blitz, you can do a command dash, then do a meaty medium punch that hits on the later active frames, making it plus 8 on hit and plus 1 on block. With it being plus 8 on hit, you are now able to link another standing medium punch for larger damage routes. In the corners, this is very effective where the opponent cannot roll backwards and is forced to take your strike throw mix up. If they do like to roll back mid-screen, I suggest incorporating Charge or OD Flicker to keep them close. In the corner, after a knockdown, you can go for a meaty Psycho Spark. This will leave you plus on block to continue your mix-up. To do this, you do a knockdown that's plus 39 to 42 preferred, frame kill like Crouch Jab, then only do the first part of Psycho Spark. I prefer to use stand light kick as the frame kill since it leaves you a plus 2 to 4 depending on the knockdown, making it easier to go for a strike throw mix and still convert the meaty fireball into large damage. Using crouch light punch as a frame kill actually makes you 2 plus on block, meaning you'll have to manually delay your throws. Since the Psycho Spark counts as a projectile, it will punish level 1 reversals since they are not projectile invulnerable, making this very useful against characters like JP, whose OD reversal and super are vulnerable to projectiles. This in turn does telegraph to your opponent what they are doing, and if they've done their homework, they will know to react to the setup with an invincible reversal. Another thing to note is any character can do a perfect parry and get a punish counter on you. When your opponent blocks a charge flicker, it is very strong for you since it puts your opponent right next to you and you are plus 4, leaving you in a prime position for a strike throw mix. A way to counter this is to drive parry since it shortens the pull distance and doesn't leave them as close. To counter this, simply react to the drive parry animation and command dash forward and punish accordingly. The command dash goes a long distance so this is viable even mid screen. If you like what you see, hit me up with the bread and butter combo of liking, subbing, and sharing. If you didn't see my Ed guide, check out the link above and stay tuned for five more tips and tech for Ed. I don't know what to tell you, but thanks for watching.